Well, once again, we're standing in some corn stalks right now. This is a field that's going to go to soybeans next year. The problem around the country, though, is Roundup isn't working like it used to, so a lot of people are looking at post-emerge residual herbicides. For beans, we wanted to talk through a few of the options today. It was neat. When we were putting together a list of products, we we're going to talk about Warrant and Dual and Outlook, and I thought, what a curious <laughs> grouping of products. Warrant, Dual, and Outlook. You don't really think of those all on the same line, but those are three residual products you can spray safely on your soybeans post-emerge to extend your window of control on things like palmer pigweed or water hemp or a number of different yep. small seeded broadleaf Yeah, feeds. lamb's quarters and kochia, and that's the whole thing. When we talk about soybeans, we've got a lot of products post-emerge that can kill what we used to think were the worst broadleaf problems. Well, they were. I mean, things like cockleburs, sunflowers, velvet leaf. I remember growing up, those were the weeds we absolutely had to control. You know, some of these other ones, I thought, oh, that's no big deal. I'm not too worried about lamb's quarters and kochia. But today, those are the number one weeds. Well, okay, let's let's go back in time. We used to use a lot of pre-emerge products on our farm, yep. and we still do. And a lot of farmers used to use pre-emerge products, but have gotten away. Maybe you've done the same thing on your farm. But once you get away from those pre-emerge, products like your Treflan or Sonlan or Prowl. Okay. Those products really did a nice job on some of these weeds. So we aren't saying today that, hey, you can just use these products post-emerge and everything's done. No, I'm not saying that at all. But I'm saying if you do use some of these pre-emerge products, there's going to be some escapes. Roundup's not as effective at getting those anymore with certain weed types, like the pigweed species, for example. And you can use these products with your first shot of Roundup or first shot of Ignite, and then you can extend that residual control until your beans are big, bushy, and canopy that row. Yeah, and the main reason why there are so many people that are interested in this now is, quite frankly, Monsanto's pushing it, they're talking about it, and there are rebate monies that will help you afford some of these treatments. So if you were gonna use, say, Roundup Power Max or Roundup Weather Max, you can get up to $3 an acre back on your warrant. Well, you know, that really cheapens that warrant up. Now you're down to probably a $5 cost instead of an $8 cost. So for only five bucks, and when beans are worth as much as they are, you want to make sure you have great weed control. Because, you know, I know we talk a lot about diseases and insects and everything else in the show, but honestly, weeds are still the biggest yield robber that there is out there if you don't control them all. Okay, so let's talk about these products. Now, you may not have heard the name Warrant before. It's a quote-unquote new product uh, that's really uh, just yeah, acetylcholine. So it's really just harness without the corn safener at a reduced rate. So yeah, it's- But the big difference though is it's a lot less concentrated, so you have to use more. So say if you were to go out there with three pints of warrant for around eight bucks an acre, five if you take the rebate off, you know, that's gonna be similar to something like 1.3 of harness, which is about a half rate. So is this half rate going to do a fantastic job on every weed you have out there? No, it's not. But it's going to be pretty good. I would expect somewhere in the 70 to 80 percent control range for lambs quarters, Palmer pigweed, kochia. You know, but some it's of these not going to kill what's small up. Seed of it's not going to kill what's right. up. And here's the whole point: you have to start out with a good pre-program, come in with that first shot of Roundup or Ignite, and then add this product in. But now, if you're down south, you may have done a pre-emerge way ahead of planting, another pre-emerge at planting. And now maybe a month later or so, you're coming back in with warrant again. And it's just that critical in areas where there's Roundup ready weeds. Okay, so. Roundup resistant weeds. Yeah, so just so you understand where we're going here, Treflan, Sonalan, and Prowl are absolutely better products than Warrant Dual or Outlook. There is not even a question. Okay, so we want you to put down Treflan, Sonalan, Prowl. You could also put down one of the Authority products, Val or something like that. That's a better choice, but that's all pre-emerge. If you don't get your pre-emerge herbicide on, the beans get up and you say, uh-oh, I didn't get the pre on, now what do I do? Well, I would guess that there's almost half the soybean acres in the United States that this happens on. Okay, well, that's where the Warrant Dual and Outlook fit in. And having one of those products out there is a lot better than just trying to go with Roundup and not seeing great control. But now we've been talking about Warrant a little bit, uh, and you can use three pints of Warrant, or you could use Dual or Outlook. Well, the reason why we're talking more about Warrant than Dual and Outlook is Warrant is a little bit better on the small seeded broadleaves. And once again, you know, whatever you do, we would just strongly encourage you, put on a pre-emerge herbicide before the beans come up. You got lots of choices. If it gets post-emerge, then Warrant probably is your best choice going post, but you could use something like Dual or Outlook as well. Just check the label in your state. And one of the weeds that we haven't talked about is our Weed of the Week. We'll show you how to control it coming up next.